Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to close out my October budget. Um, I can't believe the month is already over, so I'm going to walk y'all through what I do for that today and um, just kind of show you how my spending went for the month. Check out my next video coming soon and it will be a big debt payoff update from me. So I'm gonna make that a separate video just to keep this one from being too long. The next video I'll post after that will be my budgeting for November as well as my cash envelope stuffing. So lots of things coming up. So keep an eye out on my channel. And if you wanna see those videos as they come out, hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join um, our subscribers. So to get started, first we'll go and finish um, closing out week four just to see what I spent this week. And once we do that, then we will jump back and close out the month as a whole. So for week four, I have my cash envelopes that I carry in my wallet. And so we'll go through and just see what's left in each of those. There's not a lot left over, I can tell you that. <laughs> So groceries, I did use all of it. So we spent the full $30, so there's nothing left. Not really surprised there. It was so low this week because I was traveling, so I didn't need that much for groceries, but I did spend it on food when I was traveling. Eating out is also empty, so we spent the full 25 there. Flex funds is next. I put more money in flex funds than I usually do this week and I really liked that so I'll probably keep that up moving forward. Um, so I have one dollar left in my flex funds so I, that means I spent sixty two dollars. So I'll just put this dollar over to the side for now. And then my special expenses was for my trip just for an just for anything for that and I did spend the full amount and then something I went back and did for the month of October is I ended up transferring some money from my short-term savings account which um, I had built up before I started this channel for you know any short-term expenses or last-minute needs that I have and so I transferred a, a a good chunk of money this month because of I forgot about Amazon Prime Day, forgot about my cousin's wedding, and I wanted to get him a gift. And then I didn't have enough time to budget properly for this quick trip that I took to visit a family friend. So you'll see that in my weekly breakdowns that wasn't there for my videos, and that's just to make sure that all my money is accounted for when I go to close out my monthly budget. So I added that in, and of this of all that I transferred, I had $61 left going into week four, and I spent 53 of that. So I had $8 that I didn't spend of my savings transfer, and I'm just going to leave that in my account as a cushion for next month. So that is what the week looks like. I did spend more than obviously I usually would because of that savings transfer, but you know, I'm still trying to figure it all out and I'm not save, I'm not spending out of my sinking funds this month because I'm trying to get them built up before 2021 before I start spending them so it makes sense that I would have some overages just because I am on such a lean budget right now. So that is week four. So the next thing we'll do is go back to our monthly budget which is at the very beginning of October and just make sure that we can close out all that I spent. So what I did go ahead and do is update my actuals for my income. So my actual income that we're track that we're budgeting with this money, um, this other income was sixty dollars I made on Poshmark for selling an old bridesmaid's dress. I use ended up using forty one dollars of my Christmas sinking fund this month because I started my Christmas shopping, and that is one of the sinking funds I will spend out of in twenty twenty. So. I got to use that $41, which I have to tell you, it felt so good to need to buy something for Christmas and know that I had the money and that I just had to go transfer it to the bank and pay that um, for that gift. So that was super, super fun. That was my first time ever using a sinking fund. So $41 of that was, I count as income because I'm, I transferred it to my account to spend. And then I transferred that $275 from my savings to pay for some of those expenses I had described earlier. So we'll just add those up. So that means my total income was $3,153.70. So 
So that is the actual number that we are working with here. And then for bills, these are the actual costs that it um, came out to be. And so I'll add those up. So that total is $1,395.67, which is over by a little, but not a lot. Um, so what's left over is $1,758.03. Okay. So now, so now I need to do my envelopes, and in order to do that, what I'll, I have my weekly spending on each week, so I'll go through and add that up for what I spent each week, and that should give me my actual total for the month. So for groceries, I spent $60 in week one, $64 in week two, $77 in week three, and $30 in week four. So I spent $231, which that is less because the last week I actually budgeted 30 instead of 80. So we'll see it all just flush out. So eating out, I budgeted 25 and spent 25 in week one. I spent that in week two. I spent 25 again in week three and I spent 25 again in week four. So maxed out that budget for flex funds I only spent five in week one spent ten in week two spent ten in week three and then spent 62 in week four so that's over because again I transferred money from groceries to flex and that's just not accounted for in my budget here but it's fine so for gas, I spent $23 in week one, nothing in week two, and $28 in week three. And I forgot that on my week four, but I spent nothing on week four. So I only spent $51 in gas. And then special expenses, I spent $40 in week one, nothing in week two, nothing in week three, and $20 in week four. So $60. And then my savings transfer, I transferred $275 and I um, spent nothing in week one, 52 in week two, 162 in week three, that was the wedding, and 53 in week four for that trip. So I spent 267 of that. So now let's add that up. So I spent $796 and what is left over is $962.03. And then my sinking funds, I put in exactly what I had budgeted for. So I'm just know that the total will be 488 because I already did that math and this is included up here. And so what's left over from that is 474.03. And then this is all the extra debt payments I made this month. So I'll add those up. So I ended up putting 436 towards debt. That was extra. I planned this. Um, this came, this money came out of my debt avalanche folder. So rollover money for my envelopes or um, the money that was in there that I had sold things in September and I just never deposited it. And then this $60 is from Poshmark that I made. So 436 was the total there. So I have $38.03 here left. And then I spent four in that savings challenges envelope. So if you subtract that, we get 3403. So we should have 3403 left in income. So I underspent this month, which the only reason I underspent this month is because of that savings transfer that saved me because I would have, without that, let's see, I would have overspent by $240. So in my mind, I overspent this month, but I had the money. So technically I didn't overspend, but I didn't want to transfer that short-term savings money. So 
that's that. So one more thing is I wanted to make sure my bills and my envelopes were less than $2,000 this month. So let's see if I actually accomplished that. So I spent $1,395.67 on bills and I spent $796 on spending and that comes out to $2,191.67. So I did not reach that goal. But, you know, I was really close. And there was a lot of unexpected expenses that I didn't plan for this month. So I'll take it for now. So that is my month. And now we'll be able to go through and do the rest of my, the closing out of my budget. Okay, so to finish off my monthly reconciliation, I'm going to do the where did my money go worksheets. Um, this is the budget mom's budget by paycheck workbook and I really really like it. I do think I'm going to create a blend of her sheets with my own sheets I'm creating just because I don't have the traditional bi-weekly or weekly paychecks so I think I'm going to make some adjustments for 2021 but for the rest of 2020 I'll be using her workbook. First I need to start off with my starting balance which was $68 and then my income was the $3,153.70 which I think I'm just gonna round so that means my total monthly income was $3,222 so now I'm just gonna list out my budget categories Okay, so here are all my categories laid out as well as what the budget was for those. And now I'm just gonna go in and fill what I actually spent, which I'll take from my monthly budget that I have out here. So now I'm just gonna go through and subtract these to get the difference. The last column is just to see what percentage of your income was used on that category. So I divide basically what I spent by my monthly income and I'm gonna round on these. So to get my November starting balance, I add up everything I spent and subtract it from my income and that should be how much I have left going into November of this money. So that is everything for this. And the last thing that I like to do on this worksheet, a couple things actually, is I like to highlight what is considered bad in red. So anything where I overspent. So, um, bills I overspent and I'm going to do this savings transfer as bad because I wish I hadn't had to transfer that money because technically that's all overspending and that's that and then I like to highlight anything in green that's good so I underspent on groceries and I underspent on gas And then I went over, I did extra debt here. So that's all good. So the only adjustment I need to make is that some of this extra money up here with groceries went towards debt. So I'm double counting it. So my actual November starting balance is 87.30. And that's just because I double counted here. So I just wanna make sure that's accurate. For bills and spending. I also like to put a percentage of how much all of that cost, like what percentage that was. So bills and spending will be from here up. So this is 67%. Savings, I'm going to do my savings total and my starting balance, and that is going to be 18%. And then my debt payoff percentage is just this extra debt percentage. So that equals about 100%. And so that means we're close enough because I was rounding on all these numbers. So compared to last month, last month I had, I overspent in all my spending categories and underspent in the other categories. Um, and then bills and spending, I actually decreased and that's even with overspending with my savings transfer. So that's really good. I cut my spending back by 2% even by overspending. My savings I increased, which is great. So if had I kept it the same, I probably wouldn't have overspent in my spending because I would have been using that money for that. And then debt payoff did drop by 3% and that is because I sold a lot of things last month and I just did not have time to do that this month. So 
um, what I put towards debt was definitely less than last time. So that's it for this first worksheet. So the second worksheet looks at debt versus savings. And so I'm gonna need that sheet too. So my total monthly income was the $3,222. And then my monthly debt payoff was for, okay, wait. So I did 436 of extra debt, plus I paid 150 towards my Bank of America card, plus 35 towards my city credit card. So I paid a total of $621 towards debt this month. And so the percentage of that, of my income is 19.27%. And so my debts are my Bank of America credit card, my city credit card, my student loans, which I break those up separately because I have two of them left. And then I'm paying off my iPhone that I'm financing, so I'm counting that as a debt. So the total that I paid off to these was 150 towards Bank of America, 471 towards City. I paid nothing on my student loans because they are in forbearance with the government until the end of the year. So I'm taking this as an opportunity to knock out more credit card debt. And then, oh, I forgot to include this. I paid 22.87 towards my iPhone. Um, that's my financing monthly. So let's see. 621 plus $23. Let's call this 644. So that is actually going to be 19.99%. So basically 20%, which is good because last month I had about 24%, 23%. So I'm close, just not quite there. So then for savings, maybe I'll start with my categories and go from there. I have my 401a, which is my retirement. I have my November starting balance. And then I have my sinking funds that I'll list out. Okay, so now I'll go in and fill all these out. Okay, so I filled in everything out. So all of this is just based on my budget as well as I looked up how much was taken out of my paycheck for retirement and it was 235. So I'll just add that up to get my total monthly savings. Okay, so the total is 814 with all of these added up. So this is how much my income is that I share on this channel, but with retirement added back in, I actually have 3,457. So that's what I'm gonna use to do my percentage. And that's gonna leave me at 23.55% of my income is saved. Which is really wild because last month I only saved about 20%. So I did increase that, but that also makes sense because I upped my Christmas sinking fund and I added a new weddings category this month. So that is really awesome. So this went up, that went down, hoping to, to switch that to increase this a little bit more next month. So the last worksheet I'll do to close out my budget with y'all today is this last where did my money go worksheet. So the way that I do that is I see what my monthly income was from last month and see if it went up or down from this month. And so this month I had 3,222 and last month I had 3,261, so it went down by $39. And that's because last month I sold a lot of things and this month I didn't. Not to be discouraged, so now what I'm gonna do is just go in and fill out my September versus my October and I'll come back to do the change with y'all. Okay, we're back and I'm really glad that I did this worksheet because I caught something. Here on flex funds, I put $40 is what I spent and that it was supposed to be 87 and y'all probably caught it earlier, but um, I went back through and I actually overspent in that category. So I labeled that as bad and I updated the percentage to be 3%, which made my total actually be 100%. So small thing, but I did catch that eventually. 
So then in this worksheet, I have finished filling out the different categories and now I'm gonna go through and see the difference in dollars to see if I went up or down in my spending. So I went down by $201 in groceries. I went down by $53 in eating out. I went down by $123 in flex. I went up by $4 in gas, which makes sense because I drove more. I went down by $13 in special expenses. And I went up by $267 in savings transfers because I didn't do that last, last time. But if you look at all that I went down on versus all I went up on, I actually spent less overall in these categories because the 267 extra, like I spent that amount almost completely in groceries last month. So overall my spending is good and I actually spent less money in these all these categories combined than I did in September. So overall a positive change for me. For my bills, I went up by $14, which is interesting because I canceled Hulu and Spotify this month, but I think that's because last month I only did one counseling session and this month I did two, so that's an extra expense. Savings, I increased by $143 this month, so that's awesome. That's really, really big. And then debt, I spent, I put $126 less towards debt, which again, I just didn't hustle as hard this month as I did in September. And my starting balance has increased by $19, which means I've saved an extra $19 compared to last month. So same thing I'm gonna go through, and anything that's like a negative change, I'm gonna highlight in red. And then anything that's a good thing is gonna be in green. Okay, so overall more greens than reds. And um, I increased in gas only by $4, so that's not bad. And I was still under budget, so really not bad. The savings transfer is the biggest no-no for me, but still trying to get a, trying to learn what spending looks like for me, so that's fine. And then bills was up by $14. Not that bad. And then extra debt went down, so that's the one I want to change the most. So that is it for closing out my October budget, and I'm going to do a separate video for my debt payment updates and updating all my trackers for that, but I wanted to give you all an idea of how I do my monthly reconciliation every month. And that is basically it, and I hope you'll tune in next time for my next video. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.